her on the priority bike. This is the 600 model. And I'm doing a good test run. Let's talk about gear inches. So the pinion gearbox is marketed as having a 600% gear range, right? And that is cool, you know, like that is a metric you can use to describe a really big gear range. Uh, and case in point, I'm now biking up a very steep hill in first gear and having a conversation with YouTube. All right, so that's that's really the only metric you, you need to know is if you got a gearbox bike uh, set up like this, and I wanna say it's got uh, a 32 tooth uh, cog in the front, so that's chain ring, and 24 in the back. That's off the top of my head. Uh, and then your pinion gearbox, you're totally good to go. If you wanna go deeper and get in the weeds, you need to look at gear inches. And that's the metric that you measure all human powered bicycles against. And the idea is how many inches does your wheel move in one rotation of the cranks, right? And so right now, I'm probably sub, I can commonly say I'm sub 20 inches. So I move the crank uh, a full circle, 360 degrees, the wheels move less than 20 inches forward. And that's why I can have a conversation climbing a really, really steep hill. Now, if I went to 12th gear, I would probably be, you know, uh, over 50 inches. And I did some Googling online and found where they computed the, the gear inches. All right, let's jump back to where we left off on the gear inches conversation. So gear inches are what you use to measure the gear range on a bike and how you compare one bike it's a drivetrain to another one, whether it's a gearbox or a cassette. Those are two most, they're basically the two you got on human powered uh, bikes. Uh, a gear inch is how many inches the tire moves forward in one rotation of your crank. And when, here's the, the concluding thought, when you compare the numbers I found online, which I'll show, to like a mountain bike with some bigger cassettes on the back, like 50 tooth cog uh, and small cassettes on the front, uh, the mountain bike actually has a slightly bigger gear range. So don't buy the pinion thinking that it's the, it's gonna be better than what you can do with a chain and a cassette. It's gonna be better than anything you get stock, most likely. But if you want, if gear range is your biggest reason for buying the priority, check my gear inches chart and, you know, think about whether or not 600 is enough. I can tell you 600 is probably enough for like anybody who would buy this bike. That's the reason I bought the bike. I wanted to, all the benefits of the drivetrain uh, with the gearbox and a belt, no grease, no oil, low maintenance, uh, oil change of the gearbox itself once a year. Uh, and from an engineering standpoint, I know that you can still get better efficiency with a chain and a bigger gear range if that's what you're looking for. So that is 
my thoughts on using gear inches to measure the Priority 600 gear range and how that compares to what you could build yourself and what's out there. Overall, I think it's really good. Final thought. Uh, I am not sponsored by Priority. So this is an impartial review from just like a guy who enjoys riding bicycles. And if you found this information useful for your purchasing decision, you know, uh, consider donating five dollars or twenty dollars or two hundred dollars if you're very wealthy to the PayPal link below and that will help me cover the cost of these videos because they take time and energy to make the YouTube grind is a thing so thank you for considering donating See you around.